On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the new STG-44 assault rifle. Let's go test it out. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've already used this STG a little bit while I was leveling it up, and it didn't really impress me too much. But I'm going to go into this with an open mind and give it a thorough test, and then we'll come out of it and see if it's any good. And I'm not saying this weapon is bad by any means. It just felt a little underwhelming. Like, I think there's probably some ARs out there that are better than it, but let's not, let's not start this out negative. Let's not go ahead and put a bow on this before we even start it. Let's go ahead and test this against some tier one zombies. Also, check out the camo. This is one of the multiplayer camos for this weapon. We had to get like 50 kills while ADSing. Looks pretty sweet. Love that they're adding in all these glow in the dark camos. All right, we finally found some tier one zombies. How's this doing against them? Kills them very fast. I would really hope so. One of these days, one of these weapons isn't going to do anything to tier one zombies while pack a punched or unpack a punched and unupgraded. And it's going to scare me. Kind of like how the storm ender did. Now, how's it holding up against some tier two zombies? Here's an unarmored zombie. Killed him relatively fast. We already got a few shots on this light armored zombie. So let's go to another one. Can we break his armor? We did. And only a few bullets. Now, where'd he go? Which one are you? There he is. There, uh, there's our helmetless guy. Oh, uh, looks like it can handle some tier two zombies. It might take a few extra shots. Maybe like a mag or two to take out a good group of them. But it's holding its own. It's definitely usable here in tier two with no upgrades. And this rarely works, but how are we doing against some tier three zombies? Let's get this fully armored guy down here. Come on down, sir. You're the lucky contestant. Where are they, where are they going? Hello? They're all following him. They're all going up. They're going in solidarity with him. Oh, no. Nope. They're coming down. Okay. Oh, real quick decoy. Where's our fully armored guy? Here he is. Let's start lighting him up. And he's going right back up. All right. I don't know what's going on over here, but it can't be anything good. And I don't think we can break his armor. Let's throw one more decoy. The zombies are going crazy over here. I have no idea what's happening. Their tracking's all over the place. But let's try to focus on our fully armored guy. And we're not breaking his armor. I'm out of here. We got to go before things get hairy. And I'm about to do something unprecedented. Something that we rarely do here on the channel. I'm actually going to hit the pack-a-punch machine. Then I'm going to use my pack-a-punch crystal. So let's get this pack one. Let's get it legendary. We can only get a pack one because that's the only crystal I got right now. My stash is looking kind of weak, but it'll be a nice change of pace to actually go through the tiers here and work our way up to tier three. And it seems like it can handle tier two zombies very well right now. Only pack one. Legendary is definitely helping out. And let's check the reload speed on it. Uh, kind of slow, not going to lie. Looks like we have 100 rounds in the mag with 450 in reserve. Not a lot of ammo for an assault rifle. And I don't think it does an insane amount of damage to really warrant that low of an ammo count. But I guess we got to do a little more testing to see. Let's also test the reload with speed cola now. So let's take a few shots, hit the reload. Eh, not bad. We'll grab this max ammo. And now I'm throwing on our maggle holding some dead wear detonators, you know, just in case. And the rest of the perks that I brought in. But we got to start earning some cash. Let's start off with this bounty. See what we can do against a tier two HVT only pack one. And it's Disciple. Sorry that I had to go down like this, Disciple. But you're our testing subject. We broke his mask pretty fast despite only being pack a punched one. And the damage ain't looking bad. We already got him to half health. And I'm just going to need you to go ahead and kick the bucket for me. I need these doubloons. I need a little walking around cash. We got to get this pack a punched and fast. Night, night. Oh, and a pack one crystal. What a lad. I'll be using that on my scorcher. Look how bright this gun is indoors. I have a feeling they might nerf this camo, which really sucks. I, I really like how this looks. So I'm pretty sure they just recently nerfed the Royal Helix camo, the Warzone Rewards camo. That had a bit of an aggressive glow, but you know what? Just, let's let's just keep it. Why we got to change it? And speaking of change, we're going to do a quick DoorDash delivery to make some. And I guess while we're making our delivery, there's a few comments on the last video that I feel like, you know, we should talk about a little bit. So I see some questions pop up here and there, and I think it's good to clear the air. I'm just spitting today. Anyways, the first one I saw was somebody saying that they haven't seen the build for my weapons in the videos. I always have them at the very beginning in the intro when I'm introducing the weapon. But today I am using one of the new underbarrel grips that you have to actually scroll through all the attachments and add to your armory to get. So I figured I'd bring special attention to that because the underbarrel actually looks pretty good. It's got some good recoil control on it. And there's also a suppressor like that too, but I'm not using that today. I've also seen some people ask why I come in here with a 
you know, pack a punch, three crystal, legendary tool, maggle holding, and golden armor plates when they're going to give it to me anyways when I go into the unstable rift. And that's just because I want to test the weapon out here in tier three and everything prior to going into the unstable rift. And when I test out these weapons, I want to make sure that they're at the maximum damage they can do. What's going on, pal? Looks like he's trying to get my attention. He's just moving it. He's just going all around. You activated my ADHD. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, but I I'm completely aware that you get all that stuff basically for free when you go into the unstable rift, but I really just like testing it out at its full capabilities here in the normal game before we go into the unstable rift, which we will be doing with this gun, by the way. There will be a time that I beat that unstable rift without using an RGL. I will have the Scorcher with me and I might have to use it a little bit. But, you know, we're, we're going to give the STG a fair shot in there. I also really want to get a, a nice cooldown reset on my schematics. I need me some more pack three crystals. Ooh, okay. All right, all right. Major point. You can't really ignore these zombies while fighting. They get needy. Ain't that right, Disciple? Why am I only getting green Aether tools in here? So lame. It really only wants me fighting disciples today. This is the only bounty we're getting. That's fine with me. We've beaten everyone so far. This ain't gonna be anything different. He just keeps trying to suck me from the back. He's trying to take all my health without even looking at me. He thinks he's slick. He ain't that slick, pal. And now we got more than enough money to get pack a punch too. There we go. And after this last contract, we should have enough for pack three. There we go. Still nothing good. If I get another green Aether tool, I'm gonna blow a gasket. What do you think that means in the cars world? Does that have the same meaning or is it more dark? What does Doc Hudson think about this? The only Doc we can trust now. I am very tempted to do another bounty. All right, I'm just gonna do it. We haven't been able to test this pack two against a tier two HVT. All right, Mangler, it's your time to go. Your helmet broke immediately. Damage is looking good. So far, this thing ain't bad. But now we got plenty of money. We got a rare Aether tool. See, the game's listening a little bit. And right after I clear out this nest, we'll make our way to tier three. I just got to make sure I got all the ammo mods to get into the unstable rift later. Let's go ahead and grab pack three. And how are we doing against some tier three zombies now? Let's uh, try to find a different group, not near some other players. We can actually grab a tier three bounty while we're looking for some zombies. That's what I'm talking about. Some actual contracts we can get. And it's an abomination. Perfect. Here's the guys we're looking for. Non-armored. Dead immediately. Kind of armored. Also pretty dead. Where's a fully armored? Are they scared? They don't want to see me. I wouldn't want to either. Oh, here we go. Fully armored zombie and get brain rotted. All right. This is the one we want to try it on. Fully armored, fully dead, I think. The other zombie got my way. Whatever. Don't care. Mimic, you can go too. You want the smoke? You can have all of it. Now it's your turn, Abomination. Let's see how we're doing against you. Please don't run at me. Only laser. That's what we like to see. We can get a face broken pretty early on. Zombie, stay the hell back. You know what? I'm going on the building. We want you to keep shooting a laser. So we're going to make you. Or maybe not. Maybe he's too dumb. Whatever. This works too. We can get this done. Aether try to keep the zombies away. Unfortunately, does stop the laser as well. We're going to throw a molly here. I do not have PhD. Maybe should have thought about that, but that's fine. That's two faces down. One to go. There you go. One last laser. I can't really hit his crit point, though. It's like his upper lip stopping it. Oh, here we go. We're getting some good damage in. He's already almost dead. Can we get him before we run out of ammo? That's the big question here. Yep. With 49 bullets to spare. Oh, and they gave me that shot. Thank you. Appreciate it. Since when does an ammo box spawn right here? Is this going to be a mimic? It's not. What? Wow, quality of light change. You love to see it. Let's do another bounty. And it's another disciple. Dang, they really want us to fight disciples today. And I would go try this against the Stormcaller, but when I spawned, I was right next to the storm and somebody's already shooting at him at the start of the game. So I think he's no longer with us. About to be the same thing with you, buddy. Mask broke. Face about to be broken. Getting lit the hell up. Already at a half health. Yeah, stay right there. Make it easier for me. Broke his posture. And he healed up and I got fucking slapped around by these zombies. I don't learn. They can have a molly and let's end them. Later, dude. Oh, pack two crystal. Look at that. The loot's starting to go up. Holy bright, dude. 
This is ridiculous. Okay, maybe they could they could bring it down just a tad. This gun looks like syphilis. Oh, looks like somebody else is getting primed up for the unstable rift. I'll wait till after they do theirs to go start looking for mine. This gun's been a monster so far damage wise. Like it's not bad at all. I think the biggest problem with it so far has been the ammo count. It hasn't become a huge issue for us yet, but I'm sure it will. And the fire rate is a little bit slow. It's not terrible for an AR, but there is quite a few ARs in this game that got pretty fast fire rates. But it's holding its own. And I still haven't seen this other team activate their unstable rift. So I'm just going to start doing some Aether Ness, building up on my ammo mods. And once I see their pin go for it, then I'm going to start looking for mine. Oh, there's a level up. Did we get our camo? Yes, sir. Now we just need our 10 elite kills. And if everything goes to plan, we should be able to get those done. Oh, and speaking of unstable rift, there it is. Now it's our turn to start activating it. We got cryo for this one. Starter up. That's one down, two to go. That's two. And this should be number three. And that's number three. Our rift is open. Let's just go right to it. Let's see if I can pull this off. I will activate it. But then we'll wait a second. I'm going to see if I can get to a tier two shop to buy some self revives. Uh, it's not looking like we're going to make it to one in time. So let's just go ahead and vote yes. Is there a shop right over here in tier three? There is. We only got five seconds though. All right, it's whatever. No going back now. And unfortunately, we had to say goodbye to our camo. It automatically put our pack-a-punch camo coming in here. RIP. But I've had some bad luck here in the unstable rift with some crashes. But most of those crashes have come when I go into the room down in the bottom. I don't think it's the room that's causing it, but I don't want to jinx it. Maybe we wait a little bit, see if we can get past the first phase. And then we try going down there. But for now, I'm going to stick to Old Faithful and go on the roof. Now let's see if this can hold its own. I really hope it can. I don't want to have to use the Scorcher this early on. If this can't handle zombies up here, it's not going to handle nothing. So far, it's doing pretty good. Gotta take out a few heads. Keep it head level. Our brain rod zombies doing some work. Our ammo is getting a little low. Gotta make sure we pick some up every now and then. Well, Aether Shroud can't hurt either. And let's thin the herd down a bit. We're not doing bad. We're getting this. I do have a feeling once the elites show up, though, we're, we're gonna have some trouble. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. All right. All right. You made your point. God. So stupid. I didn't mean to climb up here. I wanted to go over that railing and jump down. But no. Made my operator climb to the roof. That's a waste of a self-revive this early on. But like I was saying before, this is by no means a bad assault rifle. I just think there's probably some better assault rifles out there. You know, some better choices. But this is handling the unstable rift slightly. It does seem to get overwhelmed pretty quickly. I think that might be due to the fire rate. But the damage is all there. I just don't think it can kill fast enough to take on like hordes this large. Oh, and here comes our first boss. Can we get shots on him from here? Barely. I'm gonna throw a quick decoy. Let's try to just handle him. It is a mimic. We do got brain rot. We should be able to do good damage to him. Let's try not to have our backs facing the storm so he can't throw us in there. Oh, he's stuck on the stairs over here. Did I hit a crit? Don't look like it. We're getting some decent damage from here, though. Let's throw a molly on those stairs. Pop a quick aether shroud, and he's basically dead. See you later, dude. That's one phase down. And we didn't really get much out of that. I do not have a lot of self revives. What is going on here? We're going to have to play extra safe. So I think I probably will not go down into that room. Because even though it's pretty good and you can funnel zombies in one by one to you, if you got no escape plan, you ain't surviving. I think the roof right here is probably our safest option. And now we're getting some elites in the mix. Can we handle the zombies and take out the elites at the same time from the same spot? The Mimic's taking some good damage. Should go down right about here. If that was an HVT, I think we'd be dead. Actually, we might be dead right here. Let's uh, get the fuck out. All right. From this point on, we're playing it safe. I'm going to use the Scorcher as much as I can. We don't have a whole lot of self revives to work with. And I want to make sure that if I got to use them, it's going to be against that final boss. There's no time to mess around. No, please don't knock me. No. Oh, same thing happened again. When will I learn? We cannot be going down this early in. At least the boss just showed up. This one's the mangler. Hit him with a few of these. A little bit of this. Damn, his armor's tough. The HVTs here are so strong. It's ridiculous. Come on. Stay still. 
Eat that Scorcher shot. Enjoy it. Devour it. Savor it. Come on, you don't have that much more health. One more Scorcher shot should do it. If all of it hits him. Okay, maybe another one. Well, Aether Shroud too. And we made it through. Did you get anything good for that? Another self revive. Beautiful. That's what we like to see, baby. Oh, we got Serpent tonight. Almost forgot about it. Doing this and just trying to stall with a Scorcher is like running a marathon. This is like an endurance test. Because we're not doing like the craziest amount of damage, but we're doing enough to live with this. And there's our boss. Oh, this one's the Disciple. It's going to be a little bit harder to pin down. Let's keep it going. We already got some decent damage on him. We just need more. Oh, there he is. Stop healing, please. Can this not break his posture? That's not good. We just gave him a lot of health back. I was banking on that getting him. Okay. I also was banking on me being a bit smarter and not jumping into a giant pile of zombies. All right, small setback. That's all we need for a major comeback. Can we get some shots on him with this? We could. We definitely could. Not the smartest idea, though. There I go again. Thinking. We got to be so low on self-revives. Do I even want to know? Oh, no. We got three. We're, we're good. We're fine. For now. We just got to stop losing them. Oh, he's basically dead right here. One more shot. He's toast. Let's go. Still going to be a crazy amount of elites here. So we really don't want to die. Let's not get comfortable. We are not safe. We are really not safe. Can you guys just leave my reward with alone for one minute. I just want to see what I got. I just want to get my little treasures. I'll take a quick peek. Okay. There's a sentry gun in there. I kind of want that. Same with another cluster mine, which I think I need to use to even grab this. There we go. We'll grab that, grab that. And I guess claymores can't hurt. I already don't have a lethal. And an STG makes an appearance. Look at that. I haven't forgotten about it. Maybe a little bit, but it's for a good reason. And there's our boss. Come on up here, mister. We can hit him from across the way. I just really want to make it to the final boss and have a good chance of winning this. Please. It's been so long since I've beaten an unstable rift. This is going to be the toughest thing we have to take down. Oh, that EMP is so bad. Fly! Holy shit, I can't believe we got out of that. Oh, no. We have to run. Wait for this to charge up a little bit. It needs to be at least at four. Shit. Okay, we're, we're still all right. We're fine. We're doing okay. This could be going a lot worse. We just need to relax. Stop trying to play as fast as possible. Just go with the flow. The Mimic's over here tracking me in the air. He's trying to catch me like a punt. He's trying to get a kick return touchdown. And he might. This move has got at least 97 speed. It's a five-star recruit. He doesn't have a position. He's just an athlete. Probably got a good dev trait too. We almost got him. We got 13 minutes left, which is a little low on time to be going into the last phase. But it is still enough. Slow and steady wins the race, which I want to see what race that wins besides the tortoise and the hare. How much health is he at? Oh, he's dead. Let's go. Another one down. He's got to beat this final boss now. And while nobody's over here at this... Oh, a cashmere. Finally, some mortars and a claymore. We also have our tombstone right here. We can't forget it. Once that boss spawns and I'm grabbing it. And it better not be a double points or I'll be pissed. But now we can fully set up. I've been saving these turrets for the last round. I'll put one here. Use a little scorcher. I gotta put another one down, but these guys aren't gonna let me. So let's just fly. All right, now that they've cleared the premises, put one here, get another one, put it out here. We also have a cluster mine that we can put down. Actually, before I use the cluster mine, I use a mortar strike. Pretty sure that won't harm me. And thank God I was right. Let's keep another one on deck and get back to shooting. We are so set. I can just take out this HVT Mimic. We are in the clear. I just can't believe how strong those Mimics are. It's ridiculous. Listen to the sweet sound of all those turrets going off. I actually don't think they're really killing a whole lot. They're letting a lot of these zombies through. Actually, no. I take it back. I killed that Mimic. That's all I was asking for. Oh, and here comes the final boss. We got a chance at this. Especially now that we got an Aether Shroud. We'll use it. Send one his way. Keep another one. 
All of our sentry guns are gone now, which kind of sucks. But we'll live. Maybe. Let's, let's actually not say that. There's no guarantees. And now that our boss is here, I want to try to get to my tombstone. But there's a lot of zombies in the middle. I'll go to the roof first. Lead them over here. Then we'll fly on over. And then we go for it. Please be a nuke. Please be a nuke. It's a full power. That, I guess, works. Better than uh, nothing. Now it's time to pull out the big guns. Mortar strike. Still a cashmere. Let's run for our lives. How much health is he even at? Can I see? They don't want to show me. We did find a monkey bomb. Let's keep all the normal zombies away. And just focus fire on him. Ooh. He broke his posture. His health is at almost half. We're getting some good damage in. Molly. And we're out of here. I think he healed a little bit. That's fine. We got less than four minutes left to kill this guy. And another monkey bomb. Oh, I accidentally dropped my cashmere. That's bad. And he's healing off me. Stop. Oh, he's healing so much. STG, you're just gonna have to go to work. We're bringing you back. You're off the bench. All right, get back on the bench. Because we're out of here. A little cluster mine. A little aether shroud. Ooh. You don't even know we're here yet. Light him up. And fly away. This is such a long game of cat and mouse. And it's getting down on the wire. Now is a good time for the cashmere. Maybe that can do some good damage to him. It looks like it is. Let's keep a laser on him too. Ooh, broke his posture. We're gonna have to fly away though. If we can. We can't. That's fine. We were able to do it manually. That was so close. We could have had it right there. We had him dead to rights. Just ran out of charge. Oh, a shock stick. Perfect. Come on up here. I got your kryptonite waiting. There he is. Eat that. That should kill him. Let's just try to stay alive. I gotta talk, don't I? Can't believe I fucked up that jump so hard. I don't even know if I have a self-revive left, and I'm not even gonna look. We're gonna clutch this out. Oh, he's no health. He's just not staying still long enough for me to get him. Maybe I can shoot him from here? STG coming in clutch. Nope, let's not let's not do that. Let's not switch up the method right at the end here. We have 30 seconds to get him killed. Come on. This is it right here. It's gotta be. Has to be. 100 percent That's gotta be the shot. That did it. Let's go. With 13 seconds left. Oh, spawn in that rift. Let me out of here. I don't want to stick around and find out what happens after these six seconds. Let's go. Let's take our W where we got them. Whew. Now, the STG might not have been able to carry us there, but I'm just glad I made it through. It did pretty decent. It was killing the zombies. It made us... It helped us through the first phase. And it did a little bit of damage to the final boss. Big picture here. I made it out alive. And even better, 72 hours off our schematics. Let's go, dude actually made it through. But overall opinion on the STG, we got a little sidetracked there at the end, but you know I had to go through and finish that unstable rift. And it is pretty good. It's a lot better than I was giving it credit for at the beginning. Uh, it can do some really good damage. We were handling things in tier one and tier two with just pack a punch one. Obviously in tier one, we'd handle it with pack one, but you guys know what I mean. And when we got it all the way up to pack three, it was handling things in tier three. I was taking out mega abominations. I was taking out all the bounties we could find. And it even did a little something in the unstable rift. Now I don't know like any single bullet weapon that can just solo the unstable rift. We're obviously gonna need some help from like a scorcher or a RGL, but it definitely didn't hurt us in there. I, I The ammo could have become a problem, but I just think we got lucky enough today where it didn't and we just were picking up ammo at the right time. Its ammo count is still very low. I would like it to have a little bit more, but the gun isn't bad and I definitely recommend giving it a try. But that's going to be it for me today. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.